The unthinkable has happened. The Washington Commanders, the same group that was one in four last month, well, now they've got a winning record again. Six and five after a laugher, a snoozer of a win over the bad Houston Texans. How they get there? It starts with the defense. John Allen, Deron Payne, and Montez Sweat are having monster seasons, and they showed it against the Texans. We have a saying that they have to block us. We don't have to beat them, you know, and that's just the mindset you got to have. Their job is to stop us. We're going to beat them, and it's like the onus is on them to stop us, and that's the mentality we have going in every game. Jay always come up to me before the game and say, let's make all the plays, so we try to go out there and, 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 and beat each other to the plays every time, so I think that helps with it. Like John said, it's a race. It's a race to the QB. I mean, when we see one guy get a, get one, man, we get hungry, we get motivated, so it's a lot of motivation out there. I got four lines up there hunting, and they're getting after the quarterback. You know, he's, he's flustered. He, he, he don't have nowhere to throw it, so he's just throwing it up, and we're going to get it. So that's that's how that's our brand of football, and that's what we're going to have to continue to do. I remember I would always go to them telling them, like, hey, y'all eat, I eat. And they would come to me, and they say, you eat, we eat. And uh, that's just the mindset that, that both groups have. Uh, we want to we want to see them eat, and they want to see us eat, so we love it. On the offensive side of the ball, the commanders are starting to get more pieces involved. Think about Logan Thomas. The veteran tight end had his best game of the season against Houston, and Curtis Samuel shows that he can be as valuable as a runner as he is a receiver. I got the ball in my hands. I got, I'm got. i trying to make something happen out there. Um, you know, I'm happy to get in the end zone, but I just thank the guys up front, you know, my, my uh, receivers, O-line, you know, tight ends, they help me get in that position. If you have time of possession, you know, being a rush, run, rush for over 100 yards, I mean, that's that's important. You know, and, and, and when you're doing that, you're keeping your defense off the field. I mean, it, it, it's an important formula. And then there's the quarterback position. The QB controversy continues in Washington. Ron Rivera said he's sticking with Taylor Heineke. Why? Because they're winning games. He's got no other choice, at least for now. There's that underdog mentality that people appreciate. Uh, and they appreciate the way he does things. And, and, and again, he's whether he is the backup or he's the starter, he's all in. And, and that's what makes him so viable, and that's why it was important for us to bring him here. Every time he comes in and plays, the team just rallies around him. The offense rallies around him. Can't really understand it, can't really explain it. It just is what it is. He is a high-energy person, somebody we can easily uh, you know, get behind and you know, motivate, and somebody who can easily motivate us. It's just trying try and be a clean quarterback, get the ball in those playmakers' hands and let them do their thing. Um, I know we're running the ball great right now. The offensive line is doing a great job protecting and running the ball. Um, but, you know, in, in, in crucial situations, our guys make plays, and I think that's huge for us. You know, run the ball well, convert in third downs, and then we get down in the red zone, we usually score. Not today, not as much, but um, in the past we have. So if we can keep doing that, I think we're going to be a tough team to beat. Beyond the quarterback controversy, we've also got the possible return of Chase Young. The commanders are going to have to make a decision by Wednesday if they're going to put him on the active roster or finish his season on the injured reserve. One note, Sunday morning in Houston, I watched as commander's head trainer Al Bellamy kept a close eye on Chase Young during warm-ups. We'll see what happens this week. Covering the commanders in Houston, I'm J.P. Finley.